Charter schools are supposed to take public education in a new direction, but a scathing report to state lawmakers today is sharply critical of New Mexico charters. Here's News 13's Jeff Todd. 72 charter schools in the state were put on the defensive today. This report to the Legislative Finance Committee says millions of dollars are going to waste in most of those schools. But representatives from the charter schools say they're being graded on the wrong end of a curve and that their unique teaching styles can't be analyzed in the same way as regular schools. We have concerns right off the bat. The charter school community in New Mexico is banding together. I know just from being one of the schools that was audited that um, it, the, the process was not fair. Shelly Sharon is the principal of Alice King Community School in Albuquerque. It's one of 16 charter schools reviewed for the scathing audit. Today, a state evaluation team presented a report to the Legislative Finance Committee that charter schools are failing in many arenas and abusing money. The report presented several controversial recommendations to save the state money. One of the first recommendations is to cut the small school size adjustment for charter schools, which would essentially close about 95% of the charter schools. The recommendations will be discussed at the next legislative session. But today, representatives for public schools statewide ask for a moratorium to be placed on future charter school startups. It doesn't make sense that on one hand school boards are closing schools uh, and on the other hand there would be new charter schools created. Those new schools would be created with tax dollars, but charter school advocates say a cut in state dollars could have a deeper impact. Putting a moratorium on growth, cutting funding for charter schools, would actually roll back the reform initiatives that New Mexico has invested in, in the last 10 years. I also think it puts us at a great disadvantage when we start looking at federal funding. Dr. Su Susanna Murphy, the state education secretary, says she disagrees with much of the report and supports charter schools, but she predicted the report will have a significant impact on how charter schools are funded. Dick, back to you. Okay, Jeff, any moratorium on charter school expansion would have to be approved by the legislature.